Union Home Minister Amit Shah introduces citizenship amendment bill in Lok Sabha amidst uproar by the opposition members. State government jubilates over historic announcement by Union Home Minister Amit Shah in Lok Sabha to extend implementation of inner line permit ILP system in Manipur. And first day of Manpex, 50 hour seas work strike gains passing on citizenship amendment bill cripples normal life in Imphal. Hello, welcome to Back News. We're watching Prime Time English News and I'm Premi Tangtum with the headlines and details. Union Home Minister Amit Shah today introduced the Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 in the Lok Sabha amidst uproar by the opposition members. Home Minister Amit Shah said that the bill is not against the minorities. There was a massive uproar in the lower house over introduction of the bill. INC MP of West Bengal Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary opposed the introduction saying it is regressive. He said, it is nothing but a targeted legislation over minority people of our country. Responding to which Home Minister Amit Shah said that a bill is only introduced in the House and that there is no need of discussing the contents of the bill at the moment. He said that he will answer all the questions when the bill is being discussed but urged opposition to not walk out from the House then. Amit Shah assured the House and the country that CAB does not violate any article of the Constitution. Arunachal Pradesh, Bengal East Frontier Regulation Act ke anusar cover hota hai aur जो बंगाल ईच फ्रंटियर रेगुलेशन एक्ट के अनुसार कवर होते हैं इसको ये कानून का कोई डर रखने की जरूरत नहीं है वहां ये कानून ये नागरिकता अप्लाई नहीं है नागालैंड पूरा थोड़ा हिस्सा छोड़कर इनर लाइन परमिट सिस्टम से प्रोटेक्टेड है उनकी वो प्रोटेक्टेड प्रोटेक्शन चालू रहेगा मिजोरम भी पूरा इनर लाइन परमिट सिस्टम से प्रोटेक्टेड है जो कि बंगाली फ्रंटियर रेगुलेशन 1873 का प्रावधान है तो वो भी चालू रहेगा मणिपुर राज्यों की भावना को ध्यान में रखकर मणिपुर को हम इनर लाइन परमिट की सिस्टम के अंदर ला रहे हैं मणिपुर की घाटी की बहुत बड़ी समस्या का आज समाधान मानने वाले मणिपुर की घाटी के सारे लोग बहुत समय से इसकी मांग कर रहे हैं और मैं आज मणिपुर के लोगों के और से देश के प्रधानमंत्री का कोटि कोटि धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूं जिन्होंने मणिपुर की ये सालों पुरानी मांग को आज समाप्त कर Union Home Minister Amit Shah today announced in the Lok Sabha that inner line permit ILP system will be implemented in Manipur. Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin has declared holiday on December 10th for all the government offices, education institutions including public sector undertakings and corporations, autonomous bodies under the government on the historic occasion. He asserted that a meeting of the ruling political parties Women associations and civil society organization of the state will be conveyed tomorrow. Speaking to media right after the Union Home Minister's announcement to implement ILP in Manipur at Chief Minister's Secretariat this evening, Chief Minister N. Biran loaded all the central leaders of the historic for the historic decision. He revered Lamjing Myra Sapam Robin Hood, who has laid down his life in the people's movement in demand for implementation of inner line permit system in the state. He said Sapam Robin Hood's sacrifice ignited people to strive for implementation of ILB in the state. Indigenous population, Mashing Yamjadra, which you would kick a dry and a key with the Yo, Kaya Hokiba, Yo Sing Duki Manunda, Swapo Panmakayam, Suyakiba, Maru in a Maduda, Lake Hidraba, Aigi Kendra de Gay now, Aigi Cha, Siri Robin Hood, Magi Mapandasu, Manipur Sarkar Gimaki de Gay, Magonda, Kui Salanjali Kachari, Mana. Katokiba, Aduna Maram Werakanda, Masi Yosil Horakanda, Nasi Quina, Manipur Prasana, Sahi Lisang Sina, Wakanda Kalagasu, Kanda Logjabungam Jedadana, Lakiba, Laurogasu, Namat Piba, Nehat Piba Kayana, Makung Pana Lakibu, Domasidi, Hai Kibuangapa, 
मणिपुर वो कराये सोए गए थे ना सेना बादुंग में बीजेपी के लीडर्स ही ना थाजरम दबा कलम दबा आईएलपी बांगल इस फ्रंटियर की अधुंग में एक दो 1873 की तो मधु मणिपुर डा एक्सटेंड टोरनी है इतना ऑनरेबल होम मिनिस्टर ने गसाई आयोग आइंगों अंदर टेलीफोन डा आइने लंबे इंग्लिश सोलिड क्वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट की सप्रम तम डा हाई रख पुता इंग्लिश प्रेस तो जो तमजरे हाई की बंगा साई युक प्रेस तो तम बता हुजिक पुंग अहुंगा मिनिट खरे हेन बता पार्लियामें मशीन की दमकल सोवा दाई थे लोबी की पा दिल्ली की सरकार से मशीन थी बट उन्होंने तो ऊब की ले रंबा थाजे दब की पोट दो हंटर किसी ना खुदा मम्मा वो रगा मतुंग दे दी थाजे बिदो बदु तो पीरो है जना ये आप इल तो उसे निंगे अंतिल लंदन अल्लेस बीजेपी ना दिल्ली दे ले रिंगे अंतिल लंदन अल्लेस Responsible Home Minister, mana Manipur ki praja ana anxiety leh ribu tu, kok ni naba hai dana ingon da. Sip Minister, amat da. Direct phone tau raga. Hai rakpa, semua ini nang kita, nak koi kita praja sing tu wad naba hayu. Ayi nengasi madu, eva parlimen tu lautu ada bni na hayu na hai bapau amakak. Harau bna khan kita na hai ribu sport tu da, mafam tu da, mak koi ki foto nung do, ran nung antong nak harau. Moral bus sabtu orang nak bawa, aku itu tak sih, hari ini hari bu, macam ni bu sih, gaya ni hari bu, macam tu kita nungai tu. Popular ministry, macam perjanan, elektor orang kan bawa, Bharat Constitution ni macam tu, ini banyak, kelak kaba macam kelak lagi. Macam ni, dom nandhar agak, jangan dom nandhar agak, dom setakat ni hari bu, yang orang ye. Early in the day, Chief Minister Nong Thom Bamburin disclosed that Union Home Minister Amit Shah called him this morning and assured. That inner line permit ILT system, which is even more powerful than the Manipur People Bill, will be implemented in Manipur. Speaking on the sidelines of an inspection visit to solid waste management plant in Lamding, Chief Minister N. Birin said that the Union Home Minister's move in the, is the result of the joint efforts of various civil society organizations, public and the state government. He expressed pride that Narendra Modi and Amit Shah led BJP government is implementing the ILP system in Manipur, which the previous government had utterly failed to do so. Parliament has said that Manipur Pumba, Manipur ki praja lak kaya si na sahi kaya chup na lao raka lak pa aikwa ki indigenous population kanjuna bagi adu gumba ILP or masi ka manaba और मधु की दमकता कोई मणिपुर पीपल्स बिल से हम दोनों एसेम्बली द पास तो होगी बदु तो कि है न कन्बा है न फुली प्रोटेक्टेड तो बा ऑलरेडी ये कोई कि मेजोराम ट्राइबल स्टेट नगालेन न सिंग बता सन्न दोनों ले रहे बा आईएलपी मणिपुर के एक्सटेंड टाउरगनी है इधर न लाउटोनी प्राइम मिनिस्टर Manpeg sees work strike this morning against passing of citizenship amendment bill, which was introduced in the Lok Sabha today, crippled normal life in Manipur. Business transactions came to a standstill as all the major markets of the state, like the Kwaidamban, Pauna, and Thangal markets, and major markets of every district, remained shut down. Roads bore deserted looks except for few vehicles plying on emergency. Although government educational institutions were opened, attendance of students was nil. Oil pumps and banks also remained closed. State police and central paramilitary forces were deployed at strategic locations to avoid any untoward incidents. Menpeg sees work strike against passing of citizenship amendment bill also crippled normal life in Ziribam district. Markets, educational institutions remained shut down and roads bore deserted looks. Members of Menpeg Ziri block roads and agitation. Ziribam police kept strict vigil to avoid any untoward incidents. Menpeg sees work strike also crippled normal life in Bishnupur district today. Passenger vehicles remained off the roads and major markets remained closed except for few small shops in the district. Agitators burned tires and blocked Nambol Poijing Market, Didim Road. Nambol Police team led by SI 
Paumantang has removed the tires from the road. On the note, it's time for small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on members of all Manipur Bar Association joining agitations against CAB. We'll be right back. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. Members of all Manipur Bar Association, AMBA, also carried out protest demonstration in front of Chairap Court Complex today against implementation of Citizenship Amendment Bill in the state. Speaking to media, AMBA President Baibam Nilachandra termed the bill as a threat to the indigenous people of Northeast states, especially Manipur as the state is not shielded under any protective clues. He warned that implementation of CAB will distort the state. Citizenship Amendment Bill Jigi Yamna Manja Gado Jagazi Akwigi North Eastern Ladyba Estate Kara Asangumba Manipur the Pura Sugumba Kardani Ataidi my my protection Loy Lege Aduga Atopa in Diagi Ladyba Stay Singadi Shigi Yamna Mang Bagi Masak Ide Late Maji Hen Haraba Group Ne Northern India Ladyba Panzap Haryana Rastan Kaga Labour Mamji Citizen Amen Bills in Modi Hena Pamzabani and Mugi Labour MP Mamjin Moina Pukalapa Mam the Nuji Lazy Shigi Amen. Bilzina, Manja Gadoja, nor Sandra Laiba, Koi, Shikatani Hibagi, Wapam Dunia, Koi, Tamjaji Aduna, Adugi, Mayoktani, Akwenangashi, legal fraternity, the Laiba, Koi Singina, Koi protest of Jari. Extending solidarity to the initiatives of MENPEG against implementation of Citizenship Amendment Bill CAB in Manipur, volunteers of all Manipur Students Union, AMSU, carried out protest demonstrations by chanting various slogans in front of Kangla Gate today. Manipur police personnel battled with agitators to end the protest. Speaking to media, President of AMSU, Imphal West District, Thautom Basanta strongly opposed implementation of CAB in Manipur. He wanted the government to bear the risks of all negative consequences if CAB is ever passed in Parliament. Tokchom Basanta declared that MSU will extend full solidarity to all the initiatives of MENPEC against the contentious bill. To sing the Iram the Manipur Sida elegant migrants in Yakan Basafu leading a Mitu Miran Sasangi Makutagi, Iram the Masigi, Purubasibu Kananabuki Damata nineteen, Iti the Gihona go back for an have a shoot to the old Manipur Student Union, M Suna, Yo Sanction Duna Lakrabani, Central Government of Manipur, Mito Mayam Kaks and Halak Nabuki, Tosilamaka Tatera Liberty, M Suna Kedunubi Abangamo, Masima, North East Amadi Manipur Miamgi, and Ingba Pam Bagi Mayokani Habasi, M Suna, Tamzari. Continuing their protests of Citizenship Amendment Bill CAB since last night, women vendors of Khoiraban Temporary Market carried out protest demonstration this morning. Taking part in the protest, General Secretary of Panthoibi Sanakai Tillub Kongdram Joymati Laima urged the state MPs to act as per the people's desires against the bill in the ongoing winter session of the parliament. She strongly opposed of granting Indian citizenship to migrants by implementing the CAB in Manipur. Member temporary market sige member singna aing yarek tuna ngasi ekoi gi citizenship amendment bill 2019 la sia sanaba uthok tuna december ge tang ma panje ta uthok ne hai basida yaning de hai bagi damakta ekoi na aing yarek tuna family basa masida ekoi de han balai tuna masigi khungjang ngase main pe ku saugat poi na koi ngasi khungjang ngase sangsili bani member temporary Manpag has declared withdrawal of its 50-hour cease work strike in a late evening press meet today. The decision followed Union Home Minister Amit Shah's announcement in the Lok Sabha that ILP system will be implemented in Manipur. However, Manipur University students, Union Musu and AMSU have extended full solidarity to Northeast students' organization NESO's total shutdown against CAB tomorrow. President of AMSU District Committee Ziribam, W. Demota said that the committee will also support in Nessos total shutdown in the Northeast states from 3 a.m. till 6 p.m. tomorrow. Speaking to me at AMSO office in Babupara, Ziribam, he appealed to Mayra Paibis Association, student organizations and CSOs to support the total shutdown. W. Demota added that a total shutdown will be relaxed for medical emergencies, religious events and other essential services. Citizenship Amendment Bill 2019 in Mayokta, Noriski Apunba, Mayur Single Lop Nashona, Noris Pumba, Hayang Lagliba, December Gitang Tara, 2019 Asida, Total Sadam, Lotok Kibaki Matungina, Jibam the Su, December Gitang Tara, 2019 Gi Ayuk, 
Chief Minister Nung Thomban Birin inspected the condition of Lamding Solid Waste Management Plant today. Chairman of Manipur Pollution Control Board Ratha Kishore, members of Eco Care Private Limited, and other top officials accompanied the Chief Minister. He, it may be mentioned that the government assigned Eco Care Private Limited with the task of recycling various domestic and indus industrial waste at the plant and the PPP model. However, Lamding Solid Waste Management Plant is able to produce only biocompost at present. Speaking on the sidelines, Chief Minister N. Biden said that efforts are on to generate electricity from the plant in the near future. He also stressed on the need to find a suitable dumping site for biomedical waste from hospitals to prevent health hazards. The Chief Minister assured of setting up a biomedical waste management plant in the state at the earliest. Management say later than I quit the hell of Zadwe by Sing the Karida, Torgas, a BOC, a spy hung day, other Gizenimski hung day, Rimski hung day, Fazana Lucian, Bida than I quit the Mayam, the Pirum Hell Hazard, Mayam Do, Madu control Tonganaba, biomedical was management, Ama, she give us management, she give Matata, among us, I had Ubido, Aduga Zagado, the Hapani, Aduga Shida, Hanagi label in Calibus in a consumed of Bangandaba. I did 130 companies. Most of them put away garbage tons. But where is the the consumption is over 100. But then, what? Our 30 excess to. Adu shu adu gido the part. Ma hapsal laga operate orani. Adu na bazaar da municipal area da mo rakai lang thok bodo payira payira ka thambi ne ne ba. Adu magai apil ta oniye turienda karida soroka lang thok. Board member of Kumhai.com, a unit of Kudol Solutions Private. W. Thoi, in a press release, has warned of legal actions under the Copyrights Act against those found copying the Kumhaini Kumhai event or illegally uploading the event on social media. And Joint Reformation Committee Amokok Manipur has declared dissolution of all Manipur Muslims Organization Coordinating Committee Amokok ran by its president S.M. Jalal and his allies. General body meeting of the committee will be held on December 14 to elect new executive members. Speaking to media at Lilong Bazaar Development Committee ground in Lilong Bazaar today, convener of Joint Reformation Committee Mohammad Ibosana said that Joint Reformation Committee Amokog held a meeting in presence of Amokog's former president, general secretary and executive members today where the decision was taken. Zulai Gitang Tarada, Amukoki President, August Kunmangada Annual General Body Meeting, Bangtok Lagani Haina, Lautok Krabasu, Tabakoina, Bangtok Laktabadagi, Amukoki, Sana Kanglon Gimatungina, Former President Singh, GS Singh Amade, Founder Singh Nam, Advisory Body Na, General Convention, Asi, Bangtok Naba, Wareb Lorakbani, Numit Asida, Manipurgi, Muslim, Made Pangal, Singhi, Hanana office affiliate Taunabagi form Lobby Krabba Sing Amadi Low Kidriba Sing Nasu General Body Meeting Loinana Anoba Office Bearer Sing Kanabagi Mipam Asida Mapung Pana Saru Yavina Naba Manipur Muslim Singi Alim Ulama Club Organization Kwai Puna Magna Maruena Mate Pangan Mapung Pana Saru Yabiu Meanwhile, members of Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization, MMWO, along with the people of Lilong, also set a blessed draft of CAB 2019 at Lilong Bazaar today. They chanted various slogans condemning the contentious bill. Lenlai Development Organization Turchanpur, under the sponsorship of United NGOs Mission Manipur, has organized Youth Leadership Meet on Human Security and Peace Building at KIC Conference Hall in Tubong, Turchanpur District. Leaders of various communities attended the event. Acting on a tip of Imphal East District Police seized 20 cases of foreign liquor at Ayangpali Crossing at around 7 p.m. yesterday. The team supervised by Imphal East District Police additional SP operation. TH Krishna Tombi recovered the liquors from a Tata truck bearing registration number MN018241. The Miss Green who drove the vehicle from Ziribam towards Imphal is identified as 29-year-old Tanglen Mang Haukip, son of Lal Chon Haukip from Kaimai in Tamenglong district. The miscreant, 
along with the seized items has been handed over to the excise department. Corcom in a press release has greeted people of the state on the occasion of 71st World Human Rights Day, which falls on December 10th. The press release also claimed that the Indian government has denied the human rights accorded by the Treaty of the United Nations International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, ICCPR, and International Covenant of e Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, ICESCR, since 1979. Corcom reaffirmed to strive towards achieving the rights. And now, the sports news. Neroka FC will battle against Kolkata's famed Kes East Bengal FC at Kumanlam Park Main Stadium in their second home match of the ongoing 13th I-League season tomorrow. Speaking to media ahead of the match at Hotel Classic Grand today, Neroka FC coach Gif Raikant said that his team has devised a different game plan for tomorrow's match unlike the previous matches responding to impact news query on whether the same 11 players who played in the previous match will play in tomorrow's match or not gift raikant said it is yet to be decided he is uttered that his team will strive to secure three points in tomorrow's match on the other hand quest is bengal fc coach alejandro menendez garcias has assured that his team will play tomorrow's match meticulously as it is a crucial match for them responding to impact news queries the coach expressed firm belief that his team who backed the second position in the last season will be the winner of this year's i league season he said his team is all geared up to win the remaining matches of this season after both the previous matches ended in draws coach alejandro menendez garcia said that they reached Manipur today after 15 hours long journey for tomorrow's match and they have said nothing to the team's management. He assured that his team will give all-out efforts in tomorrow's match. Kakching Turel Wang, my young learners. Kakching Turel Wang, my young learners association. Kakching today felicitated my young Lang Sunil who recently backed a gold medal in Wushu tournament on the ongoing 13th South Asia Games 2019. South Asia Games kicked off at Kathmandu in Nepal on December 1st. Chairperson of Kakching Municipal Council and Sanjit President of Kakching Turel Wang, my young learners association KSH. Chatradhari and Arjuna Awardi Mayang Langbambimola took part in the event held at Kakching District. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Union Home Minister Amit Shah introduced his citizenship amendment bill in Lok Sabha amidst uproar by the opposition members. State government jubilates over historic announcement by Union Home Minister Amit Shah in Lok Sabha to extend implementation of inner line permit ILP system in Manipur. And first day of Manpac's 50 overseas work strike against passing of citizenship amendment bill cripples normal life in Manipur.